What's going on today? We're going to talk about the eight reasons why you should be building your team ASAP. My name is Michael Borive, and I had 150 plus sales guys in less than two and a half years. We did that with zero money and invested, and now we have a solar company that's growing like crazy from coast to coast like butter on toast. So why do you want to build a team, right? A lot of people sometimes say, well, Michael, I'm going to be a sales guy. I want to be a business owner. I want to do it by myself. I want to do the solo YOLO way. Like, why should I be dealing with people? Why should I be building a team? Why should I be putting all this energy to other people? Like, what is the point? Like, I might as well just go out there, make my money, and go home, and I'm done, right? And it sounds like it's less stressful, and it sounds like it's a little bit more, you know, easier to do, but in reality, it's actually easier to build a team than not build a team. It's actually more fun to build a team than not build a team. It's actually less stressful to build a team then building a team. And I'm gonna give you guys the eight reasons why you should be thinking about building your team right now, right here, okay? So number one, the best way to learn, the best way to grow as a person is by teaching. If you wanna get good at any skill set, teaching is the way. I became an amazing, amazing salesperson, not because I was able to close a bunch of customers, but because I was able to take my time and my energy and invest it into other people and teach them how to do it. By me teaching them, I became much better as a salesperson, right? And that's the ideology of, you know, when you're building a team, the whole mindset is it's not only to get them better, but by default, by you sharpening them, iron sharpens iron, right? It's very important to understand this. So if you want to be very successful in building an organization, building a company, you have to understand that building a team is going to make you better at the end of the day, okay? Number two, you buy back your time. Think about it this way. Why do you hire someone? Why do you build a team? so that you don't have to do this. So you don't have to do the work all the time. So you don't have to be the magic all the time. Like imagine in sales, you're the only salesperson, you have 100 customers calling you every single day. It's not possible. But if you can spread those leads to about 10 different salespeople, as an example, now every single salesperson can handle 10 leads a day, as an example, right? So the whole mindset is, you don't wanna be the magic. You don't wanna be that guy that knows it all. You wanna spread all the work throughout multiple people so that you are not the magic anymore. So you buy back your time. So if you do wanna go to a vacation, if you do wanna step away from the business, if you do wanna step away from that specific activity, you have someone else that can handle that for you, okay? Number three, it's much easier and way more powerful to have two horses carrying some luggage, right? Or, or, or the chariot. They can carry actually way more than a single horse. One horse can probably carry 8,000 pounds, but two horses, if you think about it, don't, they don't carry 16,000 pounds. They don't even carry 20, they carry 30,000 pounds. Why is that? How can two horses that can each hold and carry 8,000 pounds, you're like, oh yeah, eight plus eight. No, 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 when you have a team, there's no addition. It's all multiplication. You multiply your efforts. It's not adding anymore. It's not, it's not just adding one plus one. It's literally taking one times 10 and 10 times eight and eight times eight and you're literally multiplying your efforts because you're literally building a squad. So you get more support and you have more people to help you out in that specific process, right? I cannot even imagine going through my businesses without having the support of my people support of my team members, support of my cast, support of everyone, because it's impossible to do it by yourself, okay? Number four, when you build a team, it's not about you now, right? It's about other people, and you will feel more inspired by helping other people, helping other people make money, helping other people succeed. You see, the best gift you can have in the world is not achieving all the accolades, it's not achieving all the results on the planet, it's about seeing your teammates achieve those results, seeing your teammates achieve those accolades. Like, I'm so excited to see some of the new guys on my team make 100,000 for the first time, 150, 200, 300, 500,000, maybe a few millionaires in our team. Like, that is what inspires me to be a better leader, because at the end of the day, like, it's so cool to see other people make money with you and you're inspiring them and they're able to inspire their family because of that. The ripple effect is a powerful effect and that's why you want to build a team because it's not always about you because one day you'll get tired about you, my friend. You'll get tired of, and sick and tired of, of hearing your voice and your success and your accolades. Nobody cares. You don't even care. When you hear other people succeeding, it's powerful and it impacts you on a, on a spiritual level, okay? Next, you spread the risk. Think about it. If you have more people on your team, you're spreading the risk. Like having multiple partners, having multiple friends, having multiple of anything, right? If you have one of anything, that's not good. The only one of anything you want to have is one God and one wife. That's it. Everything else, you want to have multiples. I want to have multiple children, multiple friends, multiple apartments, multiple vehicles, multiple everything. I want multiple businesses. I want multiple freaking people on my team. Why? I want to spread the risk. Like if you think about stocks, right? You don't buy one stock. You buy multiple stocks to spread the risk, to, to, to be a little bit understanding, like not everything's going to go your way. 
right? That's why you want to have multiple people on your team because not everything is going to go 100% your way. What if something happens to you? What if something happens to your one teammate? That's why you want to have multiple people. That's why you want to spread that risk apart. Spread it not even in one location. Spread it in multiple locations, different cities, different states, so you have less risk attacking you, right? Next, leadership skills come from building a team. Leadership skills come from failing with your team, making those mistakes on your team. So think about it. How are you going to become a better leader if you don't build a team? You can't lead computers. I don't care about AI, all this amazing stuff out there. You cannot lead computers. You can lead humans. You can influence human beings. And that's what building a team is all about. Building a team is about influencing other people and getting your leadership skills to the next level. And as you build a team, you're going to realize, oh shit, <laughs> I need to improve my area of leadership in this area. I need to change this. I need to change my communication skills. And that's how you become a better person because you're becoming a better leader by building a team. Because you made a conscious decision. Okay? Next, competition. If you try to go out there by yourself, I know a guy, he's not with us anymore, and he's out there right now selling by himself. My friend, I tell you right now, he's not gonna last for a couple of months. He's gonna go out there every single day in the beaded sun and go out there and hustle? I put money on that, he won't. Why? Because you will never get inspired to be by yourself. But when you have other people in the team, you have other employees, other people in your business, or sales guys, whatever it may be, you are inspired and you are ins inspired with their competition. You wanna go out there and crush it because you have something to compete for. And as human beings, we wanna compete, right? Especially the top level guys, we wanna compete, we wanna have some challenges. And that's what competition is about. That's what building a team is all about. You create that kind of culture with competition. So it's very important, right? And last but not least, doing it by yourself is so boring. Think about playing a video game by yourself in a private channel, right? It's not fun. <clears throat> you wanna play a video game and you wanna be playing with multiplayer. Right, I play Call of Duty a lot, and the reason why I love Call of Duty is because I'm playing with other people, I'm whipping their ass. You want to know my tag, DM me, okay? You want to play some Call of Duty with me. But why do I do that? Because I like having fun. I play with my guys on my team. We have a blast. The fun kicks in when you're doing it with other people. That's where the fun kicks in, because you're doing it with others and you're not by yourself, moping and groping, trying to create results. So, if you have not made a decision to build a team, if you are scared to build a team, if you don't know if it's worth it to build a team, oh, Michael, I don't have time, I'm scared. Listen. Make that commitment right now. And if you made that commitment, do me a favor, drop a comment, drop a like, share this video with somebody, and we'll see you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget, once again, but we'll see you guys in the next video.